everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique here in Indiana. Today I want to do something I've never done before and that is to make a quasi rimmed soap in a loaf mold. So here's the thing. I made soap for piping. I was going to use the soap I made and I had it all colored out and I was going to use it for piping. It got so hard so fast that I just couldn't, there was only one thing I could do with that soap and that is soap dough. So look at all this. I have black, I have yellow, I have a light pink, I have a dark pink, and I also, if they're not too dried out, have green and white. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do with this soap dough? I'm not really one to use soap dough, you know? It's just not my thing. But, and then one time I tried, it was not very good. <laughs> but what I remembered seeing some number of years ago, probably four or five years ago, um, a soap that I think they took soap and cut it into thirds, like a bar of soap, and they lined a loaf mold with that. And I've actually done that once, and it was kind of neat. You line your loaf mold, and then you pour fresh soap in the middle, and you have soap bars that have like a, an edge on them. What I want to do today is kind of make a tie-dye type of vibe where I'm just going to put all of these colors together, roll it out to a quarter of an inch, and line my mold with those uh, the sheets of the soap dough. I'm not sure how this is going to work. First things first, I'm going to get all of these colors kind of smushed and put together and then rolled out. And then today's fragrance, I'm going to be using Pineapple Sage. I think it's a fun fragrance and uh, I really liked it in my wax melt testers that I did. And this one is from Midwest Fragrance Company. It discolors to a cream according to the website, which isn't a big deal to me. So I think a yellow will kind of combat that discoloration a little bit. So I really think Pineapple Sage should have a yellow soap and I think that's going to pair nicely with all those colors on the side. So guys, here I am uh, back getting ready to create my sides of my soap. I am having to do a voiceover since I lost all of my audio for this portion and actually the making of the soap. So I'm going to do a voiceover and see how I can do with that. Here I am just getting through all of this hard soap dough. I found that the soap dough in the packages were a lot harder than I thought they would be or I thought they should be. So it could be that they're several weeks old, probably uh, three or four weeks old by this point at least. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I did struggle quite a bit in just getting them out of the package and then trying to work them to where they are soft, softened up enough to uh, do anything with. As you can see, I'm really struggling just getting the pieces broken off and into pieces where I can felt like I could really manage the dough. And I really did want these to be in kind of smaller pieces. And I was wanting to be able to then smush all those random pieces together. So I am trying to get them into small pieces but at the same time, get them soft enough to where I could uh, smash them all together. All right, so I'm just about done with the white here. They're in the pieces that I want them in and starting in on the black. Uh, again, pretty difficult at first to get them to be malleable. I really pressed on them. I felt like pressing on them really did a good job of softening up that soap for me. And you can also see how gunked up that blue mat is and my gloves I had to change. Uh, so I got a fresh mat to then be able to work on the other colors. I just didn't want to do any kind of transference of that black over to a new color. I found the white to be quite easy and as well as the green. Um, I don't know if it was because I had them in that cling wrap and maybe they were a little bit more airtight. Um, I'm not really sure, but I just did feel like they were quite a bit more uh, softer, easier to work with. But the green did have a weird um, bit of texture and almost a little bit of moisture. I don't know exactly what was going on with that green, so I wasn't sure 
if I was going to use it or not, uh, just because it did have kind of a, a mealy texture to it in areas and other areas it was completely soft. Uh, and then I have a little bit of red that I'm working on here. And now you can see I've just, I've cleaned off my mat or I got a new mat and I'm just piecing off all the colors together and I'm going to try to smush them and roll them. So this is where I'm just trying to piece out my dough, trying to get all the colors kind of, you know, randomly put in there. And my big concern with doing this was getting a lot of um, air pockets. I really didn't want this to be super rough. I wanted a nice soft consistency to the side of the soap, but and here I am trying to roll this and I bought this little uh roller dough roller uh yeah it wasn't working and and I also had these like quarter inch square dowel rods or pieces of wood that I was going to measure and try to uh make sure it was a nice quarter inch thick I don't know what I'm doing wrong here guys I could not get it to roll the soap tended to stick to that little rolling pin I bought uh, that so that wasn't really working so then I ended up just smushing it <laughs> as best as I could and um, tried to tried to make sure that it wasn't anywhere near over a quarter of an inch I wanted it to be a good quarter of an inch all the way through and I wanted it I needed it to be 10 inches uh, long to fit in my soap mold so I just keep adding little pieces here and there randomly Keep measuring. I actually cut it with my ruler. <laughs> and then, of course, it stuck to the, the mat there, but it came off okay. I was worried with all of that smashing and smushing that it would stick worse than it did, but it, it actually did fine. And then uh, I have my soap mold on the back counter that I keep kind of taking my soap back to measure to see if I need to add more, take away, and uh, that's just what I'm doing there is fitting it into the mold as best as I can. This one needed quite a bit more along the top edge to square it off a bit. And there we go. It is now in the mold. All right, we've cleaned up our mess and I'm on to making the soap. I did uh, run this through my soap calculator on my SoapMaker 3 software to get my batch size, although I ended up doing a little bit bigger of a batch than I actually meant to. I just added some yellow color. I added my fragrance oil. And here, I don't know if it's going to, you're going to be able to really see what I'm doing, but I've, I've actually dampened my hands with some distilled water and I'm just I'm just running a very small amount of water over the edge of that soap just to see if I can make sure that it's going to be good and, and adhered my I didn't want these to fall apart I'm also stick blending quite a bit I want a nice thick trace I ended up pouring at a a nice low to medium trace uh, by the time I'm done there, you can see it's nice and thick, though. And that's really what I wanted. I didn't want it to kind of seep underneath too badly or anything like that. I, ended, I did end up making it yellow. I was going back and forth between white and yellow. I'm glad I stuck with the yellow. I didn't seep pop this or anything. I just covered it and set it on the uh, back counter and cut it the next day. Let's see what happened, huh? <laughs> Let's just see if my plan is a disaster or a success. <laughs> I think it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I think that, I mean, I already can tell how rough and, and ugly that looks. Well, let's cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> oh, 
completely different. Oh man, does this smell good, guys. It feels like it's holding together quite nicely. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with it falling apart. There we go. I may plane the sides and see if that'll smooth that down. And then if it's smooth, it could be really cool. It's just very rough on the edges. But I don't have many, if at all, any. Um, that's a neat one. I'm not having any like air pockets that I was worried about having. All right, I'm gonna get the planer out and let's see if, if that makes that any better. I don't know about planing such an old uh, soap, like the edges are definitely older. But, oh gosh guys, that's, that's actually kind of nice. Oh, okay. That smoothed that out nicely. I don't want to take it too far. There's a little area there that's kind of um, rough, but that's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take the planing too far. All right, I have a little puck for my husband and I to use in a few weeks. These little samples. will also be for samples or friends or family, but I'm not gonna do much with the bottom. Oh, isn't that a wavy design cute? I think I got this like at a, one of those Facebook groups, so I, I can't share where I picked up these molds at, but I think you can find them. Uh, but yeah, they're really cute, and I like to do the little one-off samples when it's just a little bit of soap. I think that's a, it's a fun little sample to give away. What do you think? Oh, can we just take a look at this? Can we just take a look at this? How cool is it? Now, I really didn't think I would like it when I was pouring it. I thought it looked very janky. When I took it out of the mold and the edges were real rough and, and craggly, I'm thinking, oh, this isn't gonna be good. They smoothed out really nice. That's quite smooth. There's a little, there's a little Craggles. I don't even know if that's a word, guys. But there's there's a few little craters in there. That's okay. It's smooth. And look how pretty it is. I just think it's so pretty. Let me find another one. How fun. My yellows match almost exactly. Uh, Like, let me see. There's one. I don't know if you'll be even be able to see the yellow over here to the yellow on the inside. They're, they're almost exactly a good match. So... I think they're fun. So now I know what I can do with my soap dough when I don't know what else to do with it. I can line a loaf mold. Pineapple sage is so good. Oh, it's so good. I will definitely do this again if I have soap dough. I'm not going to make soap dough to do this, <laughs> but I thought, I think it's a really good thing. Now, the only thing I had problems with the soap dough actually that I wrapped in cling film was great. It was soft. It was easy to kind of break apart and mold and get kind of like Play-Doh-y. That was good. The soap dough I had in the freezer bags tended to get really hard. Now, some of them were older um, by, by maybe three or four or five weeks. Maybe that was why. Uh, whereas the other ones in the cling wrap, cling film, they were probably only a couple weeks old. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm not very well versed in soap mold, uh, but it certainly was easier working with the fresher and or cling wrapped soap dough. It was much harder to roll than I expected. I really thought that I could get it to a point where I could really roll it out like a pie, you know, rolling it. It wouldn't roll. It was sticking to my little rolling pin I bought and I don't know what I'm doing wrong or different that I know I've seen people roll, Lisa in particular, I've seen you roll it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or different. Let me know in the description if you know what I did wrong. I still have soap dough, so I will probably do this again. I don't really have plans to do anything else <laughs> with soap dough, but 
Guys, I am done. I'm done for the day. So if you wanna check out the video, if you haven't seen that, of my making a soap with soap dough for the first time, check it out right there. And then other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.